Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Brianna and today, as promised, I'm going to be doing my vanity tour and makeup collection video. I'm looking kind of crazy and I'm low-key sick, so this is why I'm not doing a regular intro, but I'm not going to make this intro too long because this video is already 44 minutes and I have to cut it down to get it to a shorter amount of time so this is my overview of my vanity and we're really just gonna get right into the video so thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy remember to like comment and subscribe and let's just jump right into it hey guys so like i said i'm not really feeling well but we're just gonna jump right into the video we're gonna talk about everything that's on top of my vanity at first so we'll start with this little box back here i actually got it from home good so on top of this, we just have, have my beauty blenders and we have this amethyst crystal that I got from Home Goods, And then we have this little lipstick case that has most of my NYX um, soft matte lip creams. And then some Kat Von D liquid lipsticks in the back. And up here we have this little babe picture holder. I just have a picture of my cat Simba. And then in the second and third drawers, I just have liquid lipsticks and some lip glosses. And then I have this little rock that I got when I went to go look at the sunset one day. So in this little container, I'm not going to go into it, but we just have my earrings. In this drawer, we have just more jewelry. It's not really part of my makeup collection, but it is on my vanity, so I'll just breeze right across it in the third little drawer here we have my sunglasses and some of my reading glasses and then in the last drawer we just have my little accessories for my hair so in front of this we just have a box of tissues because i'm always sick then we have two different types of gels and two different types of edge controls if you know you know very very important then we have this little speaker here it's a bluetooth speaker and then to the side of that i have my pandora box for my ring and i have this little kate spade box that i actually got from my friend malena and a necklace came inside then i have one of my little coasters that i spoke about in my last video if you haven't seen that video go check it out i'll have it up up here up here <laughs> then we have my little these are like mini perfumes that i got a whole set of a long time ago then i have this little taro dish that sometimes i keep in my other room sometimes i keep here but i just keep my everyday jewelry in it so then you can see me in the back sick obviously we have my mirror my big mirror and then we have this mirror right here and this is actually the eye home so you can you can turn it on and turn it off you can actually connect to it with bluetooth and play your music there as well so here I just have this hand lotion and then I have my Laneige sleeping mask which should be in my skincare fridge. And then this is just here because this was the most recent lip that I was wearing. NYX lip liner and I believe New Truffle. Yes, one of my favorite lip liners. And then we have this MAC lipstick in Honey Love. We have this little Wet n Wild Kabuki brush and we have this Fenty brush back here. It's like a mini brush. We have my ysl lipstick and my nars orgasm lip gloss then we have my little buddha that i spoke about in my room tour then here we have some of my most used brushes i just have um in the first little compartment i have all of my detail brushes and smaller brushes and then to the right of that i have more of my blending brushes and then in the third compartment i have my face brushes then in the last compartment, I have all of my little toothbrushes so that I can do my baby hairs. You already know how that goes. And then I have this BH Cosmetics brush holder with all of the brushes that it came with. And I just keep it on display because I think it's really cute. And then on this side, I have this little pin that I used to wear at work. And then I have this little bee that I've had for, well, it's not really little, but I've had it for years. And I just keep it on display there. And then I have my two favorite toners. This coconut water toner. And then this, it's like a rose toner from Lush. And then behind that, I just have this acrylic bonding liquid. 
that's just to do your nails next to that we have this little spray bottle the spritz on this is amazing i'll show you guys i just wet my whole desk we have this little it's like a letter holder it's supposed to hold like papers and letters and stuff like that but i just keep my most used palettes here as well as my newer palettes so that i remember to use them so the palettes that I keep here are the Zodiac palette from Colourpop and Catherine Lights. I have this Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette. I have this Sleek highlighting palette. I have this So Jaded palette by Catherine Lights and Colourpop. I have the Big Browns palette by Dose of Colors. This Tartlet in Bloom palette by Tarte. This is actually one of my most used palettes. I use this almost every single time I do wear makeup. Then I have the Modern Renaissance and the Soft Glam palette here as well. I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I have the Huda Beauty. This is the Rose Gold edition, I believe. Yes. And then I have the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And then I have the Z palette that I made a while ago of just a bunch of nudes. I have my Morphe 35O palette. And I have my Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. And then the last palette I have here is my James Charles palette with Morphe. So right in front of that, I just have a bunch of little hair oils that I keep out because if I don't keep them out, I'm never going to use them in my hair. Some of them are more empty than others. But yeah, the last thing I have on my vanity is this little, I don't know, it's like a Lazy Susan, but it's not. It's just a spinning little holder, whatever you want to call it. But in here, I just keep um, nail clippers. I keep tweezers in here. This is the little remote for my lights on the wall. I keep my eyelash curlers. I keep my scissors. This is the fan that I use to dry my makeup when I do my makeup. Then on this side, I just keep two mirrors, this face brush for face masks, and then a few. Now we're gonna get started on the left side of my vanity into the Alex drawer. So in this top drawer, we just have everything for my eyes. As you can see here, we have some eyelashes. I don't really use eyelashes that much, but when I do, at least I have them here. And I have this House of Lash, House of Lashes Lash Story Book. When you open it, there's a bunch of lashes in here. And then I have in the back some extra lashes and some mascaras. And then here I have a bunch of lash glues. And here I have my gel liners. And then here I just have my um, pencil eyeliners that I use. I have mostly black, but I have, you know, some white, some peach, different brands, NYX, MAC, Wet n Wild, Kylie, all of the sorts. And then I have a few liquid liners. I don't really do liner that much, but this is actually my favorite one, this e.l.f. one. But yeah, I just have two e.l.f. ones. This one's about like a navy color, and then I have this Revlon one. I just have all of my eyebrow products, so... We have different brow pencils, Colourpop one, Elf, we have Anastasia, anything else? The Precisely My Brow by Benefit, and then we just have some eyebrow gels. We have a clear eyebrow gel from Maybelline, this Anastasia one, which this, your eyebrows will not go anywhere with this. And then we have some dip bra and then the tame and frame from nyx and we also have like an elf powder there too and then here we just have my mascara but my favorite mascara is actually the one from essence i don't really care which one obviously i have all three but this packaging is the one that i like it doesn't matter like what it does because they all kind of work the same on me but like this one is also from essence but it's not the same this is my favorite and then i just have more as you can see another lash princess i have this benefit roller lash i have i have this clinique lower lash mascara and a few more under here then on the second drawer this is really a mess this is just my nail stuff i'm not gonna get too into it i'm gonna just close that then this is my lip drawer so this is my lip drawer um it's very full as you can see and right here we have all of my bullet lipsticks so obviously you can see i have a lot of mac and i have some revlon this is gerard cosmetics i have 
Urban Decay. That's just some random ones from the Beauty Supply. Oh, this is actually NYX. But I do have a few random ones from the Beauty Supply. I have some Wet n Wild down there. But yeah, majority of this is MAC. And here I just have the KKW and Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. Comes with four of them. They're really cute. And then I have the Coco Collection by Kylie Cosmetics as well. And it comes with two lipsticks and two lip glosses. It's really how they look. And then over here, I have all of my lip glosses. I love lip glosses. I used to love liquid lipsticks. I used to, you can see, I have a lot of them. But now my obsession is lip glosses. So I have some ColourPop, some Too Faced, Kylie, Elf. Fenty, of course, is one of my favorite top, top, top lip glosses. Some from the Sephora brand. I made this one when I went to BeautyCon with um, the Essence booth. Um, I have some Buxom. Those are also really good lipsticks. This one is from the Beauty Supply. And I have this very, very expensive one from Hourglass that I don't even use. And I have this Morphe one. And I have more Kylie. I have the Skinny Dip Lip Topper from Jouer. I have more MAC ones down there. Obviously, like I said, I have uh, all of my liquid lipsticks over here. This is my favorite red lip liquid lip. It stays on all day. It's from Stila, it's my favorite. We have some Lime Crime, Kylie Cosmetics, Anastasia, Revlon. Yeah, it's really just a lot of color popping Kylie back there. And then here, I have all of my lip liners. I have only one red lip liner. I disappoint myself, but I don't really wear lipstick that much, so it's fine. And obviously the rest of them are nudes and mobs and all of that. And then back here, we just have lip scrubs, uh, lip balms, things like that. This drawer is where I store the rest of my skincare mists and oils and lotions. So I just have my all of my mists in here and here, as you can see. I have backups of this Mario Badescu rose. Well, this isn't the rose one. This is the cucumber one. I have a little one here. And then in the back, I just have some extra skincare that I don't really use as much. I have some face oils up here and some moisturizers over here. And then in this last drawer, I have extra makeup brushes in the back. I have these makeup bags, more makeup bags, and I have these face pads that I use just to clean my face with my toner. And on the right side, we have my nine Alex drawers, which I'm actually not going to go through because even though this is a vanity tour, I just have all of my hair care in there. So if you guys want me to go through that, you can comment that down below and I'll definitely do a little hair care tour. So in the first drawer, this is the face drawer. So I don't really wear too much foundation i don't wear foundation at all really only for special occasions but here i just have all of the foundations that i have i don't have a lot i just have like some wet and wild laura mercier fancy beauty nars nyx maybelline and i have this makeup forever one that i don't use and i only keep it because i this is the foundation that i use for my c16 so it's just like a memory that i keep it's way too dark for me and yeah it's just funny and i like to keep it like and then here i just have all of my face powders i have this translucent face powder from makeup revolution i have my peach perfect powder i have my cover effects actually this was very empty this was my favorite powder the perfect setting powder but now i just keep some of my rcma powder in here because i ran out and i have two elf pro powders i have this mini laura mercier powder but it also ran out so i also have a little bit of my rcma in here just so i can travel with it then i have my airspun powder this powder is amazing and then lo and behold my rcma powder and then in the back i just have some pressed powders that are translucent from elf and then here i keep all of my concealers so this is my favorite concealer the maybelline fit me concealer i have like six of them in here if you can't tell i love them then i have these are my two newest ones that i actually got the other day so it's the nyx born to glow and the elf hydrating camel concealer i also have this soft ochre paint pot from mac i have two of the la pro conceal um concealers these are actually really old i should throw them out then i have this makeup revolution concealer i have a ColourPop concealer the tarte shape tape which contrary to 
everybody's opinion i hate this concealer it's way too drying for me um and yeah that's just my honest truth i don't use it i don't like it and then i have the fenty beauty concealer and then over here we just have some primers i don't really use primer too too much just because my skincare routine is so intense that it's basically a primer for me but i have this coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer i have a few like mini ones I have this Glam Glow Glow Starter Mini one as well. Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Then I have the Marc Jacobs Primer. And then I have just some color correcting concealers as well. So in the next drawer, I actually have all of my glitters. So I got these, well, glitters, pigments, things like that. I got these pigments for Christmas for my sister and they're actually the Kathleen Lights and Colourpop collab. Um, just like the Zodiac palette that I showed you guys earlier, this is these are the pigments that go along with that. So I have the whole collection basically and then I have this Stila glitter that I used for my prom in high school called Diamond Dust. Over here I just have like some of my... Um, my lotions as you can see i just keep them in this little box right here and then i just have a bunch of random stuff in here so obviously i have a hair pick i have some glitters then i have this makeup revolution blush palette i have the nyx strobe of genius palette and then i have the anastasia contour kit then i have the jaclyn hill and becca face palette then i have and back here, I just have all of my glow kits from Anastasia. Over here, I just have some glitters that I got of all of these glitters from GlitterMyWorld.com. They're really cheap, and these are the, the cosmetic grade ones. So there are some that you can use on your face and some that you can't, but these you can. So I just got them in a bunch of colors, and yeah. Then in this drawer, I have the rest of my palettes, as you can see. So I have some of the Juvia's Place um, palettes. You're going to see a few of them in a bit. I have some of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. I have a few Naked palettes by Urban Decay. I have the Subculture palette by Anastasia. I have this little MAC Singles palette. I have this CoverGirl Chocolate palette. It's Morphe the Little palette. Then I have this wet and wild palette in comfort zone and this one is the walking on eggshells one yes this is one of my favorite palettes i have this master palette by mario and it's with anastasia and this becca eyeshadow palette that i got from beautycon as well and i have this morphe 25a palette then I have this BH Cosmetics Hanging in Hawaii palette. This is one of my favorite palettes as well. I have this BH Cosmetics and Shan XO eye palette. So it comes with nine eye eyeshadows on one side and nine lip sticks on the other side. Well, not lipsticks, but it's a lipstick palette. And then I have both of the Carly Bible palettes. So I had this one and then when the newer one came out. Obviously, you can see I have the other two Juvia's Face palettes. But when the Deluxe Edition came out, in this rose gold color i had to get it because i love carly bible and then back here i just keep my jeffree star many mua collab box and then i have another z palette with a bunch of like random colors i have three more morphe palettes and then i have i this is a mess i have two of the kylie eyeshadow palettes this is the burgundy one and the holiday palette from 2016 and then I just have this 9A Morphe palette. Aesthetically pleasing drawer of them all. This is my highlight and blush and bronzer drawer. So in these little acrylic holder, obviously I have this Fenty Beauty Body Lava, which I haven't used because it's cold, but best believe when it gets hot, I'm definitely using them. Then I have a whole bunch of these Wet n Wild highlights. Then I have, yeah, just a bunch of wet and wild highlights. And I have this Master Chrome by Maybelline. I have this Jouer Cosmetics one in Citrine. I have two MAC highlights. Then I have two Becca highlights. I have one in Moonstone and the other one is definitely in Champagne Pop. Then I have this Kylie. 
and then I have this hard candy baked bronzer in tiki but you can actually use it as a highlight it's pretty light i have this mary luminizer from the bomb this is an og og if you've been watching youtube for a long time you know that this is an og i have this essence one this anastasia amrizi one this one is amazing i have this elf highlight in moonlight pearls and then i have this one in blush gems i have my laura geller baked highlighter in gilded honey this is also an og i've been using this for a very long time i have my anastasia so hollywood and then i have two fancy beauty highlights one in this lightning dust and fire crystal shade and then i have this one in mean money and hustler baby and back here i just have like a variety of things just because they didn't fit in the front so like i have some blushes like my milani luminoso i have this elf soft peach blush i have I have these concealers that are a darker color so that I can contour with them. I have this Diamond Glow Powder by Artist Couture in Coco Bling. I have these I have these liquid highlighting drops from Makeup Revolution. I have this blush stick from ColourPop. I have this Maybelline Fit Me blush in the color 30. And then I have one of these little Tarte blushes. And I have some bronzers back here. And then I have this bar of gold. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I have the Charlotte Tilbury bar of gold. And then I have a few ColourPop highlights in here. A MAC highlight as well. That I used to always use for my inner corner. And I have this Maybelline eyeshadow that I actually use as a highlight. It's very, very pretty. I have this Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder Highlight. 01 this is a really good, nice highlight as well it's very natural and then over here i have my bronzers i don't use a lot of bronzers i just rebuy the same bronzer over and over again which is this butter bronzer this one i have to finish i hit pan a very long time ago but this is actually my second one that i got so this is my third one i have this mac bronzer and give me sun i have this Too faced bronzer and sweet tea but it's more of like a highlighting bronzer then i have this Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer this is the medium to deep one um the light to medium one is a little too ashy for me so i use this one with a very light hand then i have the fenty beauty bronzer in shady biz i have the wet and wild color icon bronzer in sunset striptease and then lastly i have this chanel soleil tan de chanel it's a bronzer and it's amazing i love it but i hope you guys enjoyed the video um please like comment and subscribe you know the drill if you guys want more videos like this i could definitely go through my alex nine drawer right there and show you guys my hair products things like that that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next week don't forget to subscribe and bye Ooh.